All right, so now let's continue further. And uh, now I'll basically uh, look at some properties of the, of the dot product. So the dot product obeys many of the laws that hold for ordinary products of real numbers. Uh, these are stated in the following theorem. So properties of the dot product. So if the vectors A, B, and C are vectors in V3, or it's just a set of all three-dimensional vectors, and C is a scalar, then you'll have these five properties. And, and yeah, the, and, uh, these properties are listed as, well, property one, A dot A equals to the length A uh, squared. So the vector A, uh, the distance or the length of it squared is equal to just uh, when you have the dot of itself, so A dot A. And uh, now the property two has A dot B equals to B dot A, so you can reverse the directions. You could switch up which one starts first. And then property three is A dot, and then B plus C is equal to A dot B, so you multiply this inside, plus A dot C. And then uh, property four is, uh, yeah, this again, this, this property three is just like a real number. You could just, uh, or real, uh, real products. You could just uh, multiply this out and spread it out and so on. So property four, scalar uh, times A, and then a dot product with B is equal to, and you can just factor out the C, equals to C uh, times it by A dot B which equals two, uh, you could also put the C inside here. So you could, you could have A dot C times B. And uh, property five is if you have the, the uh, this zero vector uh, dot B, uh, this just equals to zero, a real number. So a scalar number, very interesting. And now these properties are easily proved using definition one and they are proved below. All right, so now let's take a look at proof of property one, that's A dot A equals two, uh, the length a uh, squared. So let's take a look at that. So we have a dot a, and we'll do this in three dimensions. This equals two. Well, this is the same thing as writing a one. So it's three components. Uh, a two, a three dot, and then it's going to be itself. So a one, a two, a three. So we just apply the definition of a dot product. This just equals two. Well, a times uh, a a a one times a one. That's just going to be a squared. Then the next one's a2, which is going to be a yeah, squared plus a3 squared. And uh, this just equals to, well, this is the length formula. This is just, this is just the components of a vector squared. In other words, that's just going to be our a vector uh, length squared. This is just the distance, yeah, the Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions. Distance uh, formula. All right, formula. All right, so now let's take a look at, well, proof of property two, because yeah, this is just a distance formula. How do you prove that? Uh, you can see the earlier videos on that. So proof of property two right here. So A dot B equals to B dot A. And again, this is a straightforward one. So if we write A vector dot B vector, you can write them in the components, just for completeness, write them all out. A one, A two, A three dot b1 b2 b3 this equals two well uh multiply these inside a1 times b1 just using the definition of the dot product the next one's gonna be a2 uh, times b2 and then plus a3 b3 and and then basically we can now we could switch these around you can move this uh back and forth in other words use just use the regular uh, multiplication i uh, properties and you can just uh, switch around. These are, these are just real numbers. So you can go two times three or three times two. Those are always going to be six. So we could switch these all around. So this equals two. Uh, this equals to B1, A1 plus B2, A2 plus B3, A3. All right. And uh, in other words, this is just the definition of a dot product uh, for uh, the vector that in the front. So B1, B2, B3. Those components b1, this just equals to, I'll smooth the this equal sign there. This can be uh, b1, a1, oh, whoops, um, not a1, this can be b1, b2, b3, dot a1, a2, a3, dot, uh, yeah, bracket like that. 
Yeah, so in other words, this is just the B vector dot A vector, like that. Move this down here and scroll bracket. All right, so now let's take a look at proof of property three. This is one right here A dot and then B plus C equals A dot B plus A dot C, like that. All right, so uh, let's just uh, write this out again using the definition. So proof of property three, we're gonna write a vector dot, and then it's gonna be b plus c, and show that we can multiply that inside. So again, b plus c there. And we have to show that you can uh, multiply this inside and, and foil it up. All right, so a vector times, or dot b plus, uh, b plus c vectors, this equals to in the component parts, a1, a2, a3, like that. And then the next one, B plus C, in their components, those are just adding vectors. And, uh, and when you add vectors, you add each component. So this can be B1 plus C1, then B2 plus C2, and then B3 plus C3, like that. All right, and now we can just apply the definition of the dot product. So multiply this A1 over here, and then each component's multiply and add it all up. So this equals two. A1 times it by B1 plus C1, and then plus A2, and then B2, uh, we'll fix this up, A2, B2 plus C2, plus A3, B3 plus C3, like that. And I uh, just fixed uh, this up like that. So that's what we have. And uh, now what we could do is multiply this inside each one, just regular multiplication. So now we basically use a dot product, show the get use a definition to get to the real numbers setup, and now we can apply the regular product rules. So a1 times b1. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll write a1 times b1 here, and then uh, the a1 times c1 over uh, over here uh, elsewhere. I'm going to write it over here, a1 c1. And then we'll have this a2, uh, b2 over here, and another one over over at the side. This is gonna be a2, b2, and then the next one a3 plus b3. Just so it's all, all uh, together. Yeah, so we have those components first, plus, and now we'll do the all these sec second terms, a1 plus c1. a1 plus c1 plus a2 times c2, plus A3 times C3. All right, and now this equals two. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is just the, um, I'll, I'll put a bracket like this. So this is, just a pro this is just the dot product for the A times B vector, and this is dot product from A times C vector. So this just equals to A vector times B vector plus A vector uh, dot c vector and uh, yeah so hence we've proven our property like that and uh, yeah so just scroll up here and yeah there's the property we proved it and now the next one property four we'll look at c the scalar c times a and then dot product with b and show that it equals these two uh, you could take the uh, scalar out or you can move it over to the b side and so on so that's property four all right, so let's write this down here. This is property four. Again, that's uh, the scalar C times A, and then dot product with B. All right, so we have C, A, and then dot product with B vector. This equals two, and write these in the components. This is uh, scalar times it by, uh, yeah, so we'll have this bracket like that. C times it by, and then the components of those vector a1, or just write it in the component form a2, a3, like that. And then dot components b1, b2, b3, like that. And now what we could do is, well, the scalar, we can multiply that inside as we showed in my earlier video. C a1, uh, put this bracket like that. And then we'll have this C a2. And then C A three, and then uh, yeah, just remove that uh, out. Then B one, B two, B three. And now what we could do is yeah, do the uh, dot product definition. So C one times C one C 
uh, a1 times b1, that just becomes, well, c a1, b1, and then plus c a2, a2 c a2, b2, plus c a3, b3. Like that. And uh, yeah, that's what we have there. Now we could factor out the C, and this just equals to C, and then A1, B1, plus A2, B2, plus A3, B3. And again, this is just, uh, this is just basically, uh, this is just C times, yeah, this just becomes C times, well, uh, this is the definition of the dot product for a times b, or a dot b vectors. So a dot b. In other words, we factor out the c out of there. So that's what we have. That's proof that's of the middle part of the property. That's this one right here. So we show that it's a scalar times uh, a dot b. And or instead of doing this one, we can multiply the c uh, or, or going over here. Yeah, or instead of here, this one here, I'll move the C inside here because these are all just real numbers. You can move the C over to inside there. So we could do or, I'll put an or sign, or this equals to uh, A1 and then C, B1. Just move those around. Plus A2, C, yeah, or A2, C, B2, plus a3, C, B3. Like that. And uh, this part right here, again, this is going backwards. Uh, this is the, uh, this part right here. Yeah, you could write it in this, in this form, except the C becomes on this side here. So in other words, yeah, just for completeness, let's make it match uh, this setup here. This just equals to uh, the vector with components A1, A2, A3. Uh, and then this is going to be dot c uh yeah, i'll put the c b1 c b2 c b3 etc like that and again just for completeness uh, i'll just um write this a1 a2 a3 dot and factor out the c and put a bracket here so c bracket b1 uh b1 B2, B3, like that. And this just equals 2A vector dot bracket C, B vector, like that. All right here, so we just proved this uh, setup right there. And that is property four. All right, now let's take a look at property five, and uh, that is just a zero vector dot B, and let's show that it equals to zero. All right, so let's jump right here. So proof of property five, this one's pretty straightforward. Again, a zero vector dot by uh, a vector. This just equals two, uh, the component uh, of zero vectors is zero, zero, zero dot. And then we'll have a one, a two, a three. Like that, in other words, uh, just use the definition, zero times every single one, zero times a one plus zero. Uh, times a2 plus 0 times a3 this just equals to 0 so real numbers so 0 vector dot uh, any any vector just becomes 0 